awesome you are here i'm very happy to see you you saw it coming didn't you celebration scissors part two yes and you know i love names by now you know talking about names i am olubu sola Eshiete. before i go on let me ask you a question has anything changed for you since you started engaging with me on these talks? If you didn't used to celebrate yourself, for example, have you now started celebrating yourself? And if you were like me and used to celebrate your little wins, do you celebrate just a tiny bit more? Why you think of your answer? Let me come with mine. You know, when I go researching what to tell you, I learn a lot and I am the first person to benefit from what I learn. I use it first. Don't say I'm selfish. The Bible says that the farmer will be the first partaker of the fruit of their labor. Something I learned as I was growing up, I always heard it said around me. Did I just speak gibberish? No, that's Yoruba. And it means when the Lord has shown you your enemy, that enemy can no longer kill you. Name it to tame it is a phrase coined by the author and psychiatrist, Dr. Daniel Siegel. And he says that by putting this simple use to work, simple tool to work, your emotion can inform you and not overwhelm you. No, it also says that when your emotions hijack you, they take over your ability to express yourself and make good decisions. You don't want your emotions to hijack you, do you? When you notice you're having an emotional reaction, the next step is to describe it or name it. When you can name it, you can tame it. Thanks to the wonderful people who have told us, who have named some celebration scissors in the comment section. It's not too late. You can still be one of those wonderful people. And please go on ahead and name them. When you name them, tell us how you've tamed them or how you're planning to tame them. So someone says, underplaying my achievements is one of my celebration scissors. So you know that. And what do you do? Don't underplay it any longer. Recognize it. Identify your achievements and celebrate. Another one says, fear of, fear of what people will say if I celebrate. And also another person says, people will think, you're proud. So now you know it's not pride. You're just affirming yourself. So don't bother about when anybody will think or say. Celebrate yourself. So don't stop at naming the celebration scissors. Tame those scissors. And when you do so, you will see that you celebrate yourself more. And you'll be ready for the next series. For my next series, you want to know what it is? Celebrating your folks, your family, your friends. Till then... Okay, 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 don't go yet. Have you subscribed? And if you have, have you clicked the notification bell? Because that's the secret to your getting the next talk. Immediately it comes on. And then remember to share. And have you liked this talk? Please click like. It's the thumb up there. Just click it. If you've done all I've said, thank you. And see you again soon.